Hello everyone, welcome to Brian Unbox. In this video, we're gonna look at the Firewalla Gold SE and the Wi-Fi SD. The Firewalla Gold SE is a multi-gigabit cybersecurity firewall and router, and the Wi-Fi SD can be used in conjunction with it. More on that in a bit. With the router, you get the power cable and the power adapter, along with some stickers. With the Wi-Fi SD, you get the antenna and the Wi-Fi USB dongle. If you're new to Firewalla, they make a series of products for your home or office and are focused on protecting your network. They have numerous firewall routers from the gold, purple, blue, and red models and the optional Wi-Fi SD. The Gold SE is one of their newest models and it features two 2.5 gig ports and two 1 gig ports. Protects your devices from cyber attacks. Additional insights to your network. Safeguards your personal and business data. Dynamic content filtering. Monitoring and control internet usage. Block unwanted ads, built in VPN. Network segmentation and lockdown. Two gigabits deep packet inspection hardware. Advanced smart queue multi wan and no monthly fees. It has 4 gig memory, 32 gig SSD, ARM quad-core CPU, and it's fanless. And here you can see a list of what the firewall security stack. Privacy protection, cybersecurity, parental control, firewall, intrusion prevention, ad block, VPN server, DNS and HTTPS, vulnerability scan, safe search, and so on. All these features that are listed can easily be controlled via the app or web interface, and the initial setup is quick and easy. Here is a high-level overview of how the packets are processed. There are four main stages, Deep Insight, Active Protect, Behavior Analytics, and Control. You will be able to protect and monitor your network from IoT devices to baby monitors, cameras, computers, and more. You have the ability to segment your network as well. The optional Wi-Fi SD can be used with your Farwala Gold. What this allows you is the ability to have multi-WAN functionality. You can fail traffic over to it if your primary link fails, or you can use it to load balance. The antenna can connect to a hotspot. It has a max speed of 200 megabits, up to five clients, and it's plug and play. Taking a look at the Gold SE, it's fairly small with a metal housing, and you have the branding on the top and the air vents on the side. On the front, you have two 2.5 two gig ports and two 1 gig ports along with the status LED light. You also have the power input. Looking at the back, you have the reset button, HDMI port, and USB ports. On the bottom of the box, you'll find a QR code that you will scan during the setup process. Setting up the antenna is simple. Just screw in the dongle to the antenna and plug it to the USB port. Setting up the Gold SE to your network is straightforward. The Firewalla website has a lot of documentation explaining the various ways you can connect it, from using it as a main router, bridge mode, and simple DHCP. For this example, I will be using the Firewalla router in router mode, which is recommended to take full advantage of the features. I also have an Eero, which is configured to be in bridge mode, so it basically will act as an access point, and I have connected it to one of the ports in the front. Access to the internet can be two ways. You can connect your modem to the front ports and also utilize the Wi-Fi SD as a backup failover. In this example, We'll use the Wi-Fi SD as the main connection to simulate a failover. Setting it up is fairly simple. Download the Firewalla app. Once downloaded, go ahead and add a new device and select the Gold option. Follow the on-screen prompt and it should take about 5 minutes for it to complete. Once completed, you will see the Firewalla device on the main screen. In this sample, I have the original Gold as well. You can see the Gold SE as the first icon. You can rename the devices to your preference. Tapping on the device will bring you to the dashboard. You can see the network events notification on the very top, 
network performance, network flows, upload and downloads with the last 24 hours, 60 minutes, and 30 day history. You can also have a monthly data usage that you can toggle depending on your provider. And below that, you have the devices, alarms, rules, and security stack features. Tapping on the data usage, you can configure the data usage and notifications so you can be aware if you're approaching your provider limits. Tapping the devices, you will see all the devices connected to your router. The alarms window will show you all the notifications from new devices connecting to security alerts, abnormal uploads, open ports, large uploads, VPN, video, gaming, adult sites, device off and online, large uploads, and connectivity status. You can mute, delete, and archive the alerts and also see the detailed information. The settings wheel on the top right will allow you to access the general settings along with enabling the features that I mentioned earlier. Here you can see what's enabled and disabled. Looking at the network option, you'll be able to create and manage your overall network. Local area network one is where I have the Eero plugged in and it's currently in bridge mode. There's no ISP1 or modem connected, so that's why you see the red dot. The Wi-Fi SD I labeled as wireless and that's connected to a hotspot. Tapping the Wi-Fi SD connection, you're able to rename it or modify the addresses and so on. And with the multi-WAN option, you're able to set it up in failover mode or load balance between the two links. The routes options will let you configure policy-based routing. You can see the options you can select from. To make it simple, I will configure one policy for internet access. If you have multi-WAN set up, you can divert traffic to a particular link. Here you can see the iPhone will go through ISP1. You can make it preferred or a static route. The SmartQ options when enabled can prioritize traffic when load is heavy on the network. The VPN server is an option that will enable your box to act as a VPN server. You can download OpenVPN or WireGuard as a client. This will allow you to create a VPN connection to your box when you're in a public place so your connection is secure. You can also toggle the adblock feature, family protect, DNS, and more. I won't go through all the security options as there's just too many to be covered. The firewall site does a good job on going through each of the features in detail. Going back to the top and tapping on the flows, you will see a history of the traffic, your downloads, uploads, and apps. And the same thing with the block flows. Tapping it, you can see what's blocked. You can also see the throughput on the main screen. The top, you see the throughput for the Wi-Fi SD connected to the hotspot. I will connect an iPad so you can see how the box processes it. Once connected for the first time, you'll get a notification. Tapping on the alarms icon, you can see the details of that notification. And once connected, you can see the device under the device icon. Tapping on the device, you can see details of that particular iPad. Here you can see the live throughput as I do a quick speed test on the iPad. You can view the network flows on a device level as well, and you can toggle the security features on and off. So I have gone through a lot of settings and information and I barely scratched the surface. There's so much more to the box, but the main key points are that this is a powerful router and security firewall for your network. It's simple to use and you can be up and running in no time. All the features come at no extra cost and there's no monthly subscription. The interface is intuitive and it has the same look throughout every model. I've been using the Firewalla product since they launched the Firewalla Red and it's been working flawless in my network. 
I highly recommend taking a look at the Gold SE or their other models if you're interested in securing your network. So that is a look at the Firewalla Gold SE. If you like my video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button as well. Until next time, this is Brian Unbox. Take care, everyone.